a talented goldsmith is turning pure gold into a gorgeous mango sutra necklace. Stay tuned! The talented goldsmith is recycling old gold pieces, purifying and refining them into pure gold. They're first smelted in a crucible. The gold piece gets flattened out in a thin band of gold. A beautiful Mangal Sutra necklace requires quite a lot of steps, and it's no easy job. Needless to say, the process is just as satisfying as the end result. Once the gold gets purified, we can move on to actual making of the necklace. Turning it into a thin band of gold. Stretch the wire into a straight band, coil it to form any shape you want and cut it off. The process is just fascinating! Heat the gold until it's red hot and let it cool before working with it. Start forming the desired shapes. Placing the golden pieces on a flattened plastiline clay, creating 3D raised molds. Adding the small golden crescents around the main golden wire. He continues adding more crescents and other shapes to build out the intricate details of the necklace. When creating the design, you can use your imagination and let your creative juices flow. The more details, the more unique it becomes. A Mangal Sutra necklace represents the joining of the two souls of a man and his wife. The artist is using 24K gold, but you can use lower purity gold too. Adding more details in there. So much work goes into the making of a Mangal Sutra necklace. This whole process is just mesmerizing to watch. Heat these small pieces of gold until they're red hot. Adding in the small balls of gold one by one. The design is almost complete. Mix up some plaster and fully submerge the golden piece in it. Run a blowtorch over it carefully and use tweezers to fuse the golden pieces where needed. Polishing the Mangal Sutra necklace using a magnet polish to give it that final shiny appearance. There you have it! Which wonderful lady will you give it to?